Hey guys. So I figured I'd just do a little video covering um, washing your equipment because you know we wear like anywhere from 15 to 10 to 15 pounds of equipment, maybe sometimes even more, and it can get pretty stinky. And you don't want to be that stinky kid. I mean, you work hard out there, but you don't want to be smelt out there as well. So. This is especially for those moms and dads and I want to try and tell their young player to, hey, we need to kind of sprucing up that hockey gear. So um, check out, here's a couple tips that I use. Um, if you have sensitive skin, you might need to use different products and uh, maybe different technique, but I'm just going to show you kind of what I do. So you got your bag home, hopefully it's a bag, and um, you open it up and you got all this stuff in it, right? So, what I do is grab all the clothes and stuff. Socks, jersey, if you've got pant shells, those are good too. Put them to the side, towel, um, <clears throat> and then focus on the equipment. And parents or kids, um, a little trick that I didn't learn until, I guess, college is this it's a laundry loop and you can honestly make your own it's not very complicated um where you can put all your under gear stuff if you want to put your tights or pajamas or whatever it is um, that goes on here and you can just clip it together um obviously this one's got a sock pouch but you don't necessarily need to get that technical and you just take this whole thing and you just put it in the wash when you're ready so back to the equipment so you take things in pairs just so that I don't get confused of what's washed and what hasn't washed. And you know, depending on your washer size, you might not be able to fit everything in there. So shoulder pads are kind of hard, so we'll leave those out. So our pants. We'll take the big bulk items and pair them with a smaller item. Um, or you can take all the sm smaller items and wash them at once. Um, so we'll grab shin guards and Let's do elbow pads. Okay, got my shin guards and my elbow pads. And we're taking them to wash. Um, <clears throat> I have a small high efficiency washing unit. Um, so it's not as big as some of the at home places or even if you wanna take your equipment to a um, coin op, that works well too. Just because the washing machines are a little bit bigger in case you're worried about ruining your system. Um, so this is kind of my setup in there. So I already have some dirty clothes, some towels. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at extra heavy. Um, try and wash it on the delicate cycle just so you don't, you know, hurt the equipment in any way. Um, I put my wash on cold, extra large, and run the, the water into the basin. Now once the water's gotten a little bit full, I'm going to put some product in there and let it soak for a little bit and add the equipment in. Our basin is somewhat full and I'm going to add some product in there. So, I have OxyClean. Um, uh, grab a scoop of that. Um, I'm generous with my scooping but it just depends what you guys want. I'm going to toss that. Feeling this devotion, touching your emotion. I can see the love. I grab Tide because I absolutely love Tide. Awesome. Now I'm going to throw some of my equipment in there. Um, sometimes during the washing process, the equipment tends to pop up. So you can take all your extra items, sort of the undergarments, your tights or whatever, um, even a towel if you tend to shower at the rink, you can put those on top of the equipment to kind of keep it down for the first cycle or two. I should mention that if you have um, equipment with Velcro, which most of you probably do, try and make sure that the straps are fastened just so the Velcro doesn't snag other things while it's in the wash. Velcro that doesn't work is super annoying and not functional.
my wash cycle is done, I'm going to grab my equipment and I'm going to go dry it. Throw these things out of here. I got shin guards out here and elbow pads. Just going to shin guards to start. So, I'm going to go quickly. All right. So, I absolutely love the rocket dryer. It's awesome. What you do here is you just hook it on, little clips in there, and you crank the knob at the bottom, and it dries all your equipment in a timely fashion. Super easy, and it's portable too. And for all the other items, I'm just gonna repeat the process. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope this helped out a little bit. There's nothing worse than having hockey hands at the dinner table, so wash those gloves. See you guys.